guy you hate It's the lullabies I sang out a tune That's probably what did it Or my twin size matches the ass since I was seven That we have to sleep on whenever she spends the night And if she falls off again, she'll find another guy to like Which is Romeo and Juliet But getting drunk and eating Percocets But just to ease the stress But soft with life, the yonder window breaks It is the east, but Juliet just puked off the balcony how romantic nothing like getting drunk and getting manic on a motherfucking monday i, I brush the bangs behind her lovely little ear as she describes in detail how the end is truly near wow and i'm sure that we could do this for forever or until we drink the poison because she sees some cloudy weather as rosaline lies in bed seething wide awake because a burning love for juliet only took a day And if Romeo and Juliet continue to be married, then there's half of a chance that their kids will get embarrassed when all the kids at school all talk about their parents. And Romeo Jr. has to say they're not together. And Jr. will dream of the day when he's a man and what he'll do to avoid that 50% chance of his kids feeling the way he feels. He'll probably just stick with the Netflix and chill. Dear Shakespeare, could you write a happy ending, please? Could you write a happy ending, please? We just deserve a happy ending, please. Please. And every sting from every teardrop, from every ring at every pawn shop, I'm not missing both my Christmases. The family would be nice in my dreams. My kids are happy, and I know that they won't mind. One Christmas. Just one Christmas Just one Christmas Just one Christmas But dear mom Conversations from a couch Have never felt the same Since you looked dad in the eye And you told him that things are about to change My mom was made from Adam's rib And the marriage went south when the snake came back and asked my mother out to dinner. And my dad found out and asked my mom what that's about. And she said, oh, it's nothing, but dad loves to shout really loud. Loud enough to knock the lamps and dressers to the ground in my memory. I could hear Chopin's nocturnes playing in the background. A slow train wreck, you close your eyes, but forever hear the sound. And boy, it's tough. Cause that's the sound of people falling out of love. Okay, so the first one I do have to ask, would you be able to pay the balance of the floor today, 691? No, I can't. I can't. Okay, no problem. Cause what we can do, we can uh, break that up into three monthly payments. Beautiful people only live in downtown, in midtown, and around where I stay. Is it the brain that really matters, or the character that flatters, or dependent on their beautiful face? But if you're beautiful from birth, do you really have the courage of a woman picked on for a girth? Ever since she was a kid, you know how kids work, up until she was a full-grown adult. Now, I'm not saying that it's real smooth sailing, but guys being nice doesn't hurt. And I'm not saying that they're perfect, I'm just saying that they're different. And the difference is they love to wear skirts. Sex in the city, poppy pills, really, really nice. With hands placed on faces and twinkles in their eyes. Sex in the city, poppy looks really, really great. With a girl that's like a 10 and a guy that's about a 8. Sex in the city, sounds like it takes place on stage. While moaning in D, while Marvin Gaye sings. Sex in the city, candles smell like great jobs and promising careers. My candles smell like fear, my roommates play here. I have really bad back knee. Looks like the gosh dang night sky. And I promise I'm gonna get it taken care of. So I'm not a baby maker looker, but maybe I am. To a woman that really loves me for who I am. Or maybe who I'm not. Either way, it's getting bothered and hot. Gross. Hey, missus, will you take me to a world where nothing else exists except the contents of our soul? And there we'll talk, you know, your Instagram DM works too. What up? If I looked like Brad Pitt mixed with a bit of Jake Gyllenhaal and a bowl of David Hasselhoff, I wouldn't be here at all. I'd be in Los Angeles. Or at your mom's house, eating all the sandwiches. Sex in the city, poppy chills, really, really nice. With hands placed on faces and twinkles in their eyes. Sex in the city, poppy looks really, really great. With a girl that's like a 10 and a guy that's about a 8. Sex in the city, sounds like it takes place on stage. While moaning in key while Marvin Gaye sings. Candles smelling great jobs and promising careers. My 
channels smell like fear my roommates lay here and socks and whatever freshening spray I used 30 minutes beforehand before I quickly went through my room trying to clean it. No? Right? Huh? Right? Right? Hello there. Uh, it's Frank and... This song is dedicated to Mario and Link due to their undying perseverance, which I'm not sure I should do the same of. Mario's never getting some, and Link's never getting some, so why would princesses love me? I'm not really making moves, I'm just kind of breathing. I work at fucking pizza places just so I keep eating. That's a type of shit to make me go and smoke a fucking pack of smokes today. That's a type of shit to make me ask my father, you okay? That's a type of shit to make me buy a flask for 25 and fill it up with talk about only for 99. That's a type of shit to make me write a song and fucking pray that this one's better than the one that I wrote yesterday. Yes, a year, yes, sir, please. Let me get the recipe to not being broke. Fuck, I'd really love to be a king but Mario and Link should have showed that perseverance is not the end all to everything the princess in a hallway and a rope I asked you like coffee and scones and she says no! but I just killed a fucking dragon though with this sword that I made from the words of my soul I just killed a fucking dragon though I just killed a fucking dragon though but it's whatever I don't even stars is restored to the castle and it's all thanks to you we have to do something special for you she said she said you're like jason biggs and all the jason biggs movies she said hey she said that you're like the weird guy in all the movies who turns into the hero at the end and gets the girl and i was like shut your mouth but i'm gonna take over the world as soon as everybody dies I'm gonna take over your heart as soon as I get the balls to try I'm gonna rearrange the alphabet and then take you and I and put a bit of space between them and hope that nobody cries I'm gonna run around this city wondering why she does like this I'm gonna be a nice guy my fuck around and make a difference I'm gonna hope for the best but for fair for the worst they're gonna focus on their hooks and then say fuck it to the verse like god damn but look at me now look at now look at me, how's it going? My name's Frank, what's up? Today, we'll be looking into it really fucking matters. Gucci bags, money vans, trap beats, and sarcasm. I hope that you don't fall into their schemes and what they say when you look them in their eyes that they don't choose to look away because you don't deserve to be fucked with unless you're a fucking asshole and expect $200 every time that you pass go. Yo, life isn't fair, life is like a fair. That only lets in white people with blue eyes and blonde hair And big tits and small waist Let's cut face the same face, the same smile, the same type That's been stuck here for a while I hope that you don't fall into my schemes and what I say When you look me in the eyes, I'll look you dead into the face Cause you don't deserve to be fucked with Unless you're a fucking asshole And expect $200 every time that you pass Go, your life isn't fair Life is like a fair that only lets in white people with blue eyes and blonde hair and big tits and small waist. Let's cut pace, the same face, the same smile, the same type. That's been stuck here for a while. Yeah, I ain't shit. 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 Compared to them, right? I ain't shit. 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 Yeah, my friend said I have poor face structure. I said you look like Alien versus fucking Predator. Both of them, cause right before the movie starts, there's a weird type of scene that's awfully sensual with rose petals and Marvin Gaye sings. I think people would watch that, probably on pay-per-view, on a Tuesday night. Like, what else is there to do? Like, a lot of things. Fuck. Read a book, I guess, like Fifty Shades of Grey, except Alien and Predator making the stuckest. That's great fan fiction for a great man missing the spice of life. The price is right for species all alike. Like this, the night was young and I could feel it on my lips. It's the taste of Predator's wit. Oh, no. Yeah. And I know you want a piece of this wit. And I know she wants a piece of this wit. Yo. Yeah. And I know she wants a piece of this wit, my wit, my wit, my wit. She wants a piece of this. Thank you for listening to the record. I appreciate it more than you could ever fucking understand. I um, worked so hard on it and lost my mind due to 
The music business. The music business is quite the business. But I decided that I don't want to be a part of it anymore. So I, this is all me, and no one's going to fucking tell me how to write a song, you know? And the way I listen to music is fucking like medicine dude it makes me feel better about my life and uh my dream is to do that for other people and uh and you know travel the world doing that and helping people like so many people helped me and uh thank you for letting me try to do that to you <laughs> okay Listen up, young man is a is a young man. He writes stories. He's a writer, a little writer boy. He falls in love with the girl. Girl already has a boyfriend. She kind of loves him back, but not really. They're just really good friends, and that's fine. He understands. It's rational. Hi, what's your name? How are you? How's your life? Oh, you got a man? Are you in love? So a type. Is it just platonic, strictly just as friends? Or the type that ties you two together till tomorrow's end? If it is, disregard every time I call you pretty, though. It's meant sincerely, it's just my imagination drifting. You brush me off like the dirt on Jay-Z's shoulder, so I fall to ground, collect myself, and get ready to take over your heart. Or at least your spare time. And I love the thought of being with you. Or maybe it's the thought and not being so Hey, the second one's way sadder than the first one, but I don't know. I love the thought of being with you. Maybe it's the thought of not being so alone. The second one's way sadder than the first one, but I don't know. We should go and get a freaking cup of coffee and all act friendly. And I won't pull any stunts, but I'm a little stunt puller from birth. So I don't know what to tell you if I try to confess my love for scones. I just want to say something real quick. Please, you shouldn't listen. I love these scones. Just diversity between the selection of the half here, the blueberry, the raspberry, strawberry, pumpkin, even, which is basically a freaking squash. I'm going to make a scone out of a freaking squash. Oh, where, well, where? Well, that shit blows my mind. That's Elon Musk just in his little lab cooking up, baby. But what were you talking about? Oh, yeah. Your boyfriend made you mad the other day? What was he saying? Oh, what do I think? Hmm. He was being mean at that part point. <laughs> but I'm sure he's going to turn around at some point as well. And... I love the thought of being with you. Or maybe it's the thought of not being so alone. The second one's way sadder than the first one, but I don't know. I love the thought of being with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe it's the thought of not being so alone. Shit. I, I love being, <laughs> I love being loved, but don't like crying on the phone. Hi. What's up? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, yeah, she told me a lot about you. Yeah, uh, huh? It's so great you're doing all of those things. You should keep doing all of them, I think. Oh, yeah, my name's Hobo Johnson. People like to say I'm a rapper. I'm actually not. I produced this myself. I'm hella fucking proud of it. <laughs> but, yeah, she like she's so nice. She was so nice and cared about me. No one else did. Literally, I don't think I've ever felt love before that. She's a peach scum. She's a peach scum. Yes. And I love the thought of being with her. I just really hope that she doesn't get hurt, you know? They say it takes two years to come back down to earth from that lovely place that you've been. I heard it's so nice. Good for you guys. I'm, I'm glad. And if you find someone who loves you for who you are, keep loving them, man. Because that shit happens like once in a lifetime. You know, and who am I to get in the way of someone living their lifetime <laughs> you know and i hope you're doing really well i haven't talked to you in a while but uh i found someone else who really loves me for who i am but i don't call them enough and that's why they moved away i'm gonna call him right now she wants me to call her okay Says the girl with the right eyes that pairs pretty well when she hits you with the soft smile. You can kind of tell that something's going on, but she's like a Skrillex song that never drops. She'll never talk. She'll never talk about the feelings that she felt today. That I kept inside of a fence, inside of a cage, inside of a safe. That's safe for her, because they, they just hurt, and she don't know why that God's on dirt. I hope he's trying. 
she said, she said, she said, she said. She said, oh, he's trying. Frank, do you think he's trying? I said, I don't know. But I asked her, what's wrong? She just nods her head. And then I asked her, what's wrong? And she said, it was the picture perfect person love my mother oh so dearly you could feel the love reverberate wherever in our building if it feel the same today i wish i know but sometimes you drive a car and lose control and the poles hold me closely i don't think you should love me i always feel so lonely knowing that nothing forever lasts forever sorry frank you're much too late much too late Much too late. Much too late. Hi. Says the girl who doesn't have time for relationship advice, rather relationships at all. She holds her breath all day and fucking gasps for air at night. She promised she would love me for only till the morning time. The more that I engage in it, the more that I am mortified. That I'm like every other shitty guy. And then bye. Says the girl who doesn't have time for relationships.